To gamers, Grand Theft Auto is a series of popular video games. Marcus isn't a gamer. Is it like almost like a video game you're playing? Feels like it, yeah. Just about, yeah. It's hard to stop once you learn the, the niche, how to do it. It's hard to walk in any parking lot and not want that, you know, it's like candy store. Marcus isn't his real name, but he is a real ex-con. And I've been on high speed chases with cops. We got away. You like that? Honestly, yeah. He was arrested by Metro for auto theft. Now that he's done with his prison time, Marcus is trying to turn things around by taking us inside the mind of a car thief. Tell me how you got into this line of work. Um, when I started doing drugs and just growing up in the neighborhood, and it was easy money. How young were you when you first got into that group? About 16. Thank you, I'll take that. And just like the teenager stealing electronic cars, Marcus and his car stealing friends also did it for kicks. Sometimes we bet who's the quickest. The amusement of stealing a car soon became addictive. Do you think you could ever give up stealing cars? Eventually, yes. Do you think it's as addictive as drugs? Yep. Alcohol? Yep. But unlike other addictions, stealing cars can also be a moneymaker for the addict. Someone might give me a call and say, I need an engine, a VTEC from a Honda. I say, well, how much can you give me? You send me 300, 400. I say, give me one hour, I'll go get it. We showed parts of our interview to Metro Lieutenant Robert Duvall, the head of a valley-wide auto theft task force. There's a huge, huge illegal market for automotive parts, especially what he mentions, Honda parts, which is why Honda thefts are always so high. For Duvall and his fellow officers, an interview with a car thief is not just about gathering evidence in one case, it's a chance to learn about the criminal underworld. The best way to find the thieves are from the words of the thieves themselves. Any particular car easier than others? Imports, import Honda, Toyota, Nissan, those are the easiest. The top three. Hondas, Toyotas, and Nissans, all models regularly topping the list of most stolen cars put out by the National Insurance Crime Bureau, not for the cars themselves, but for their parts. And how quickly can you steal a car? Oh, less than 10 seconds. He's told you the 100% truth. Uh, sometimes it is extremely easy to steal these cars. Um, there are people out there that go and do it for the fun, for the job, for the adrenaline, for whatever reason, uh, they're out there. Yeah, boy.